say is don't put too much pressure on yourself to capture the perfect shot in one capture when you're photographing this many children. This is a very unique sibling setup. So I have a family that I'm about to photograph with seven children. Their ages are nine, eight, seven, five, three, 20 months old, and they have a two week old newborn. If you're ever in a position where you have to photograph multiple children of all different ages, then hopefully this video is going to help. Going into a shoot like this, I definitely try not to put too many expectations on myself. So in my pre-session consults before any session, whether it's a, a newborn shoot with lots of siblings like this one, or if it's just a family portrait, you need to get as much information as you possibly can. Those pre-session consults are really important in terms of styling, communicating, how your families want to be photographed, what clothes they should wear, what outfits you might have that you can provide for them if need be. So I like to get myself set up for a shot like this beforehand and even do a test with my lighting so that once those kids are here, my undivided attention is completely focused on them and how I'm gonna capture them. With my setup here, I've got a beautiful gold chair, never used to be gold, used to be green, but I've spray painted it and created something really unique. I've got my wood flooring down and I've got my green tones in the background. Now the reason that I've gone in this direction is because I'm using lots of earthy tones in these setups. I need to think what props I'm going to use that are gonna help me um, pose the children to create connection, how I'm going to uh, use the different ages and their different heights to place them within my frame. And using a chair like this with different stools is gonna allow you to position kids around the baby to create um, a beautiful shape and in, you know, enhance my composition overall as well to create something with lots of impact. When we think about the different elements that we add to an image, you might have an idea or a concept, but it's always best to think about how you can place the different elements within your frame. With that many children, I definitely want to have a center point as my main focus, focal point in terms of where I'm going to position the baby. I will build my set by posing the baby first and then you know, add in the older children one sort of by one into the position. And it's okay if you kind of get them into the position that you thought that it would look good and then you kind of go, hmm, no, I don't like the balance of that. And then you can move them. Um, just be prepared if they don't want to move. Kids can be very stubborn. Like I said, they've got lots of different personalities um, and the way that they react and respond to you is also going to be very different too. Because let's face it, if they're coming to your studio, it's a new environment and they could get a little overwhelmed. But if you're going into their home, also be prepared that you are entering their domain and uh, you could be up for absolutely anything. In terms of how I'm gonna light this, I need to think about my exposure. So I've got to think about my aperture. I know I'm going to use a longer focal length that's going to create connection. And where I, I place them all, um, obviously, I'm just going to have to wait and see how they react, how they sit, um, how they cross their legs, what they do with their hands, all of those things. But there's going to be 14 hands that I'm going to be dealing with, 14 feet that I'm going to be dealing with. And they're all going to be moving constantly. So that's why I always say, don't put too much pressure on yourself because at the end of the day, I, I can pretty much guarantee I'm gonna to have to head swap a few of them. <laughs> and I'm not gonna put, put too much pressure on myself to capture it in that one shot, as I said. And another really quick tip, when they arrive, especially with a newborn baby, if that newborn needs to be changed, needs to be fed, that is the perfect time for you to grab the older kids and do a bit of a run through. Bring them in, get them excited, you know, show them what you've created and say to them, you know, I was thinking of having you positioned here, what do you think? And get them involved in the process, get them excited and then tell them that they can go and sit down, have a little break, just so that they're aware of what it is that you want them to do. You've got to communicate with the parents, obviously, before the session in your pre-consults communicate with them at the time of the session in terms of how your session workflow is going to happen. And then you've got to communicate with the kids, especially the older ones, uh, so that they understand. Because 
I mean, even though they're older, they're still nine, eight, and seven, and five. The three-year-old and the 20-month-old, you know, they're gonna do what they're gonna do. But those older ones, they're still very young and they will get bored. So that's why we need to be prepared and, uh, and as organized as we possibly can so that we can get through it quickly and um, keep them happy in the process. Ready, one. Where's your big smiles? You've got a big smile, Sophia? Good girl. Three, good job. Okay, who's next? Beautiful. I love who's just looking Perfect. Alright. So I think I've got enough in terms of putting them together um, as a composite if I need to. The hard thing with kids, especially when you're filming like this, there's so much going on behind the scenes and we've got to remember their ages. So when you are in the middle of a session with a family, with kids of different ages, they're all going to react and respond differently to what you want them to do and they've all got really different personalities. So it's just a matter of being patient and working with them to get that shot because you know when you're working with lots of kids that that final photo is going to be really, really special and it's going to be so worth it, even when they're cranky with you. <laughs> All right, you guys have done amazing.